channel. If you're new here, my name's Lauren and this is Jan. We're trying to travel the world as cheap as possible. In this video, we're going to take you around Lake Bled in Slovenia. Remember to like and subscribe for more tips and tricks on how to travel the world on a budget. Another budget hack. There's a lot of um, spa shops that we've found so far in Slovenia. Yes, I am here also. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we've just got two salad boxes. And two, two slices of pizza. Uh, it came to about seven euro. So about three pounds each. And that's dinner. This morning we've come back to the main bus station. That's what it looks like. You'll know you're here because there's a McDonald's over there. <laughs> and very handy. Very handy. Um, and now we're going to take a 40 minute bus to Bled, to Lake Bled. I'm squinting because Joe's broke my sunglasses. Because he can't use his eyes to see where they've been put. Anyway, the tickets cost €2.10. Uh, like I said, it's a 40 minute journey. Uh, you can get taxis and there's also that's actually the train station there. That's the bus station behind me. You can get the train there for a similar price and it's a similar sort of time, but the train station's on the opposite side of Bled, so from where we're staying, you've got to walk the whole way round, whereas from where the bus station takes you, it's about a 10 minute walk to where we're staying in like a little villa apartment thing. And we've got three nights there. Protein snack on the way. I feel like we're on one of our skiing holidays just about the snow. <laughs> didn't, didn't have to walk up that hill, so oh, we're no. taking a shortcut. You know, this suitcase is the worst suitcase in the world. At any given opportunity. Then why did you want that on? So this is where we're staying. It's called Villa Lipa, and for three nights it costs us one hundred and thirty-seven pounds. Smells like skiing. I just smell like skiing. Around Lake Bled, there's a, I have seen a couple of hostels, um, but majority of them are like these sort of skiing chalet type things. We'll show you some videos of the front of it in a minute, but you might have seen them from when we were walking around. We've got a little balcony. Sun's out. It comes with, well, it is a shared bathroom, but you get a kitchen and everything as well, a fully equipped kitchen. Makes a change. Where have we just come to, Lauren? Lead. <laughs> the sea, like that. It's a bit cloudier today. The trick with pasta is to always cook less than you think you'll need. We had leftovers from another place that we were at and it didn't look a lot. So we thought we'd go and get a load of veg to fill it out. And now we can literally feed the whole of the top. And that is how you travel on a budget. <laughs> One. <laughs> I 
I woke up with a cold, so ignore my voice. Woke up with a cold? Yeah, it came on Sniffing last night. All night. I think it's from the aircon in the previous room we were in. Yesterday, uh, we came out, but we didn't film it, but we walked around the whole of the lake, which is six kilometers. I'd say it took us about 40 minutes. We did stop and take some pictures. We won't mind the bus. Today, we're gonna try and get on a boat. And we're also going to go to Vintergorge, I think it's pronounced. Probably should have waited until we were next to the traffic to say all that, but I am. <laughs> We've come to one of the hotels to rent a boat, which is 20 euro for an hour. Which I don't think is too bad to be fair, or if you're in a big group of six people, it's 25 euro for an hour. This is what it looks like. <laughs> Obviously, I've got Joe rowing the boat. <laughs> Joe's finally worked out how to row the boat. Change the settings. I'm demanding, so I want to go over there and have a picture. And you can row next time. <laughs> no. Rowing ain't for me. He was doing any work. Mine's social media influencing. <laughs> Maybe one day. It's not a bad one, too. <laughs> Lazy. I'm enjoying the peacefulness of the pond. Definitely won't row back like she says she will. I want to give it a go, but. Oh. That church there, people get married in that church and it's tradition for the groom to carry the bride. What is it, 91 stairs? 91 steps. You can it's just see him there. 91 steps to the top. So I want to get married here just to see Joe try and do that. <laughs> Not a chance. There was a wedding yesterday, wasn't there? Yeah. I'm just did it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I've got more water on me. I'm turning us round. Also, there's not a single bit of water that's splashed on you, so don't lie just because you're on camera. I have. The one on my hand. Well, prove it then. Because I didn't see it. No. <laughs> well then. <laughs> the camera was back then. Look, look, look. Yeah, we're going around in circles. No, no, I'm doing it. Oh my god, look how fast we're going. Look how fast we're going! <laughs> Look how fast we're going! Look how fast we're going! Look! Look! Yeah! Is there suddenly been a... I can't do it! Is there suddenly been a mirror put on here? Look! I'm going faster than what you were! Are you at? I am! I'm not going to get of it! It won't take you too long to take us back then, will it? No, it won't. Oh, this rate, look at me, I'm flying. You're also going in the wrong direction. I know, I'm just going <laughs> to this castle. You said you wanted to see the church. Let me just uh, spin us around this way a minute. That's it. We've come to see all the reptiles. <laughs> I think it's just a pop-up. Place. I don't know if it's always here. It's Seven euro fifty to get in. Me and Joe have uh, decided we're going to have this in our house. Oh, you're cute. Don't know if we're meant to be stroking these, man. I know. I do seem to be enjoying it.
Patrick Slaveski. We're now at the gorge. <laughs> it's cost us 20 euro each. Um, one of the information places in Blair, they do like a transfer here. We were two days off being able to get the one euro transfer that they do every summer. So we had to pay 10 euro to come here. Um, they drop you off just there. We turn the camera around. Drop you off over there. And then the entrance fee is 10 euro. And then you walk through all the way around and then they pick you back up where the church is on the other side. So I can't really grumble for 20 euro. It's just annoying that we were two days off getting the uh, one euro shuttle bus. <laughs> Twenty-five minute walk back to the pickup point. <laughs> we were meant to have a walk up there today. <laughs> There's a little rock, and people look out onto the pond from it. But sorry, not the pond. The, <laughs> the lake. <laughs> this small pond here. <laughs> I've got cold. But seeing as the clouds down, we thought it's probably pointless walking up there because we're not going to see anything anyway. <laughs> so we were going to go tobogganing. And that's only open Friday, Saturday, Sunday, which no one told us. So if you want to do that, make sure you're here on a Friday, Saturday or Sunday. And we were here yesterday, we were going to do it yesterday. Ended up um, doing the gorge instead and our washing as well. <laughs> <laughs> so we do it today and now it's not only is it cold today I tried to have a little dip in there earlier but it didn't really work I actually got a swimming costume on underneath this but as you can probably hear I've got a cold so not only my poorly but I'm trying to go into a, a cold lake <laughs> so a bit of a bum day really <laughs> still had a nice walk though yeah it does look nice even though it's all overcast and boiled carrots and broccoli. I haven't had veg, proper veg, in God knows how long. Yeah. Our bus is leaving at 11 o'clock to go back to the capital for us to then go to Slovakia. We are now leaving Bled to go to uh, Slovakia. And I don't know if I filmed it the other day. I can't remember if I 
on the little rabbit or not, but when we went to that, um, the zoo, the pop-up zoo, there was a little bunny rabbit and it was in a tiny little cage and I felt really sorry for it. And yesterday when we cooked our dinner, I've kept all the peel and all the broccoli and Joe's just now ran, we're waiting for the boss, he's just ran like 15 minutes away so we can go and give this rabbit all this veg because I just feel so sorry for it, sitting in that tiny little cage in the pitch black, poor little thing.